In this video, I will show you how to use integration to find the area of a region bounded by an exponential curve. The first step is to figure out where the curve intersects the x-axis. That will come into play when it's time to write the limits of integration. So this point is where the function has a value of 0. So let's set the function equal to 0 and solve. 9 minus 3 to the x power is equal to 0. Adding 3 to the x to both sides, we have 9 equals 3 to the x power. In other words, 3 to the x power is equal to 9. Well, this one is simple enough that we can just do mentally. 3 to what power equals 9? 2. So x equals 2. From left to right, this shaded area begins at 0 and it ends at 2. The area between a curve and the x-axis is the integral from the first x value to the last x value. So we can write an expression for this area as the integral of this function, 9 minus 3 to the x power dx, from 0 to 2. Here is a memorized rule that we will need in a minute. So we have the area equals the integral of 9 will be 9x. And then I'll just bring down that minus. Here comes the memorized rule. So the integral of 3 to the x is going to be 3 to the x, but it will be divided by the natural log of 3. So let's go ahead and apply the limits of integration. So I'm going to uh, put some brackets on this. So I can say from 0 to 2. This definite integral will be found by taking the value at 2 and subtracting the value at 0. So this area will equal the value at 2, which is 9 times 2 minus 3 to the 2 over natural log 3 minus the value at 0. So that's 9 times 0 minus 3 to the 0 over natural log 3. To be clear, we can leave this as our final answer. You would get full credit for this on the AP exam. I'm going to keep going just so we can see if we can simplify this a bit, but if you have any concern about being able to simplify accurately, it might even be safer just to leave it alone. 9 times 2 is 18, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 0 is 0, 3 to the 0 power is 1. So we have this. Minus a negative is a positive, so we have this. These two are like terms. Of course, negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. So this is the form of the answer that you would probably see as an option on a multiple choice question. So that's how you find the area bounded by an exponential curve.